Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again, and today I kind of want to talk to you guys about my first impressions playing Final Fantasy X. But before I go ahead and start them, I just wanted to show you guys one of my first cool bosses that I fought, kind of... Uh, his name is Ifrit, I believe, and there's not too much action going on here. You know, for the most part, it's tank and spank. But I just thought I'd show you guys some footage, so feel free to enjoy for a few minutes. Yo, am I doing a 1v1? Am I skipping the whole dungeon? Easy game, dude. Oh, shit! First time. Will do my best. All right, am I just going, dude? We're going? No one's got a camera. Hiya! All right, I'm scared. Damage mitigation's on, boys. I can like stand in that stuff, right? I'm scared, dude. Oh, I gotta, I gotta re-debuff the slash. And re-slash. Okay, I'm gonna put heals on for him. Oh, am I not supposed to tank that? Stand still. It's hard, dude. It's how I wanna move. I'm scared. Yo, they're almost pulling, dude. I'm using my Berserk buff. Fuck this shit. Damage. Come here, dude. Parry buff. Uh, hey, no, what are you doing? Oh my, what the fuck is that? Am I supposed to dodge that? I'm putting damage mitigation on, boys. Well, I know when it's time for me to dodge stuff, like... Like, am I supposed to stand in that? Okay, I don't think I'm supposed to stand in that. I thought that was like the mage's AoE spell. What the fuck is it? <laughs> it didn't look like a, cl a classical, like, circle or something, dude. <laughs> That's it? That's the whole dungeon? That was so fun, dude. I didn't have to do anything. I just fucking zug zug. Look at those feet, dude. Stop. Why? Hello and welcome, everybody, boys, again. So that was pretty much my first impressions with... Well, not first impressions. That was kind of like my first... Uh, not my first dungeon, but my first kind of like boss that did more than... I guess auto attack remember that a lot of this content in the game that i'm going to be showing you over the next probably couple days is all kind of like old and outdated so to give you guys a little rundown really fast um final fantasy a realm reborn came out i think in 2013 um and i do believe that there have been two expansions since then i'm just going to lower this audio really fast there's been two expansions since then so pretty much content after level 50 it's probably going to pick up and be a bit more fun uh, and then there's another expansion coming in like two months or so but I'll, like i said a lot of this stuff is probably going to look a little boring to you guys i personally am really enjoying it i really like the art style of the game i really like the graphics you know i really like the whole final fantasy theme um and whereas, like I said, the combat may be a bit slow in the beginning due to the 2.5 second global cooldown, um, I'm not really, it, it doesn't really bother me too much because there's going to be a lot of extra skills I'm going to get that are going to fill in between. 
that are not really going to affect it. And I'll kind of show you guys that a little bit right now. So I'm currently playing a... Uh, what is this class called? I'm playing a... Is it called Marauder, I think? Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm playing a Marauder. So I'll just give you an example of how my skills kind of work. And at level 30, I unlock Warrior, which is when I get, like, so many more skills. But... So for the beginning part, you have your role, which is going to be giving you skills based off of your type of class. So I don't know how I can select exactly what is in the role, but I think it's all of the general tanks uh, would get these set of skills. Final Fantasy doesn't really have much room for customization. It's more so like playing through the game and, you know, really enjoying it for kind of what it is. So all of these skills here that you can see, Rampart, Long Blow, Provoke, uh, Convalescence, etc., they're pretty much all tank oriented so rampart is like reduced damage this is a stun uh this is a taunt um but everything here is not affected by the global cooldown which is really nice so say i'm tanking and i gotta build threat immediately right so i heavy swing into skull sunder even though if i wanted to debuff him i would use maim uh if an ad spawns and you know i'm on 2.5 second global cooldown i can simply like provoke and then after a second throw a tomahawk and pull the target so it really makes like the buttons you press much more impactful with the really 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 long global cooldowns but you do have an auto attack in between and you're going to be worrying about positioning and then as i've said before and many others have explained to me you will get much more skills that are going to fill in between so you still have a long global cooldown depending on your class but you have so many more buttons you're pressing in between the global cooldown ticks um so the, like I said, the combat for me has been really, really fluid. You can move, at least with my class, with every single move you use. So uh, if you guys saw in that video, I pretty much never have to lock myself in place. Uh, that feels really nice. But I will let you guys know one thing that I've noticed from right now. Um, and that is, if you do not like questing, I would probably never play this game. I personally don't really like questing. And the main storyline quest pretty much has you running 24 7 and almost never killing targets but I'll, I'll tell you like the end goal for me which is basically since you can play every single class on one character and you just switch your jobs as long as you do your main storyline quest one time and complete it you don't really have to worry about it um but also i think part of what makes it so tolerable for me is just really enjoying the whole final fantasy kind of immersion uh, you know, the, the audio I get to hear, the graphics, like I was saying before. So, so far, I'm pretty happy with myself, and I'll be making some updates for you guys as I go. I haven't even touched crafting or any of, like, the real dungeons yet. I've only done... Let's see, can I even see on the dungeon finder here? How do I s search this? Uh, I don't even know how to, like, use commands really yet. I've only done... Let's see, here we go. Satasha, uh, Tom Tara and copper bell mines and then i did ifrit and that's really about it um so i'll be happy to produce some more content to you guys as we go today i've got a long stream it's like 14 to maybe 16 hours we'll be playing so should make a lot of progress there um but yeah that's pretty much about it so i hope you guys had a wonderful time hope you guys enjoyed yourselves uh, if you guys have any questions feel free to drop them down below and i would like to plug one more thing uh i was interested in playing this game a few days ago but I didn't really want to do like the whole one-time purchase plus subscription just to try it out. Twitch Prime is currently having a Final Fantasy XIV promotion. So if you have Twitch Prime, you can actually just go redeem your code and play the game for a month. It's pretty cool. You get to try it out as like a trial for a month. So anyway, I hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. As always, if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. I do have a schedule now as well, so I stream every day from about... Uh, I think it's 8 o'clock central to about 6 p.m. Um, sometimes I'll get on at 9, sometimes I'll get off at 5. But I also don't stream Saturdays unless it's like a special exception. So have a wonderful time. See you guys all later.